Most of our congressional delegation is back in Oklahoma for the Veterans Day weekend, including U.S. Senator James Langford, who discussed his current priorities with ONR's Ed Murray. When Senator James Langford makes it home, he hears those radio ads about the high cost of prescription drugs. You know the ones. Call his office. Demand action. And then people do call our office and they'll say, should we be doing something? We demand action, but we don't know what it is. The Senate Finance Committee began drug cost hearings in January. There are hundreds small things that all need to change. Not every drug is going up in price. Some drugs are gone down. Some drugs have remained the same for years and years and years. Some drugs have skyrocketed. So we're trying to take each individual segment and not try to treat, <clears throat> excuse me, all drug pricing exactly the same. One area Langford has worked on, drug tiering. It's the reason you're told a generic costs the same as the brand name. It's the pharmacy benefit managers working behind the scenes with the drug companies that when the new generic comes on board, they'll give those pharmacy benefit managers a kickback if they'll list the generic, not on the generic tier, lower price, but on the branded tier, more expensive. Well, that prevents more generics from coming in the market and giving more competition. And I've partnered with several of my Democratic colleagues that we have an amendment now to deal with that part of the problem. Langford has also teamed with Democrats on bills from preventing government shutdowns to combating anti-Semitism. This week, the FBI stopped a plot to bomb a synagogue in Colorado. We, we, we see this rise of this attitude. We don't want to see that continue to grow. So for uh, Jackie Rosen, she's a Democratic senator from Nevada, for she and I to be able to partner together. She is a, a Jew, I am a Christian, but for us to be able to work together and to say, this shouldn't be about partisanship, this shouldn't be about faith, this should be about people. The senator would love to see bipartisan movement on trade. A proposed agreement with Mexico and Canada has been sitting in the U.S. House for more than a year now. We do about $2 billion a year in trade, just Oklahoma does, with Canada and Mexico. It's very significant to us to be able to get that solidified and done. It's the politics right now. They're trying to see if they're going to give Trump a win. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's the American people and it's the people of Oklahoma that get a win. However, critics contend this replacement for NAFTA is just NAFTA with a few tweaks. There's not a lot of significant changes from NAFTA, but there are some that are significant to Oklahoma. Wheat is, for instance, our wheat traffic with uh, Canada. Uh, every time we send our wheat that we eat uh, to Canada, they downgrade it to livestock grade and say it has to be sold at a cheaper price in Canada. It's just a protectionist thing that they have there. Uh, energy development, manufacturing, parts supply for automobiles, e-commerce, all those things are very significant. Trade negotiations with China continue, but a new agreement with Japan is now a done deal. Langford met manufacturers from Japan and Canada in Shawnee last month at a groundbreaking for an international industrial park. It's pretty significant. That's beef, that's pork, that's uh, poultry, uh, that's wheat. I mean, some pretty essential areas of trade between Oklahoma and Japan. The tariffs are going down with that, so that's very significant. This month will be an interesting one for the Senate. There's a budget deadline on the 21st. And of course, there's the impeachment inquiry. I know no information that's different than anyone else at this point, And I will be in, quote unquote, the jury pool in the Senate. Uh, so the most important thing when you talk about removing a president is to be able to get information out into the public eye. If they have facts and information, that should be made public. At the end of the private hearings, they're going to cherry pick the witnesses they like the best in private and put them in public. Republicans are allowed to be able to call witnesses under the new rules, but only if the Democrats all agree to their witness choice. Basic due process in America is we need to get both sides of the story. Lankford visited Ukraine this past spring. He says long before it was a story here, Rudy Giuliani and Hunter Biden were big stories there, as the country wondered if its new president was corrupt, a concern shared by our State Department. So there was a lot of concern in May and in June trying to figure out who is this person, where does our foreign aid need to go. None of that story is out. I was on the ground in Ukraine and knew those issues firsthand. But now all the dialogue seems to be about President Trump cut off funding to Ukraine solely because of Hunter Biden. And I can tell you with certainty from being there, it was a very different story on the ground. House Democrats say those public hearings will begin next week. Ed Murray, The Oklahoma News Report.